Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss damped oscillation or damped simple harmonic motion. Now basically, uh, all oscillations are damped. Now what is damped oscillation? Like suppose you have a fixed rigid support and this is a pendulum, simple pendulum. Okay. Now, if it is displaced to this particular position, and it is left for itself then it will start oscillating like this but you will observe that this amplitude of oscillation will decrease continuously and finally it will come to rest so this kind of motion is called damped oscillation now in damped oscillation the energy of the system is continuously dissipated and however the oscillation remains apparently periodic Okay, so now let's see the mathematical treatment for this damped oscillation. Now for this, let us consider a fixed rigid support and this is a idle string. The free end is connected to a block of mass M. Okay, and now this block, it is surrounded by say suppose some resistive medium so this block it is oscillating in this resistive medium okay so now the damping force the damping force it is directly proportional to fd is the damping force it is directly proportional to the velocity of the moving particle or moving body okay now you might have studied uh, stokes law where you have seen that the viscous force is it is given by the expression f is equal to 6 pi r eta v so if this term is constant then force viscous force is directly proportional to the velocity of the particle Okay, so this damping force is just like your viscous force, it is a motion opposing force. So this damping force is proportional to the velocity of the particle. So that I can write the damping force is equal to minus B times V. Okay, this B is the damping constant and minus sign because minus sign is because the damping force will act opposite to the direction of velocity. If the block is moving in this direction, the damping force will be in opposite direction because if the block is moving in this direction, the opposition will be in this direction, in the opposite direction. Okay, so this is damping force. Now, what about the spring force? Now, if this block is this block is displaced in this direction through x, the spring force will act in this direction, and the damping force will act also in the opposite direction. If the displacement is in the downward direction, okay. Now this spring force this is equal to minus kx now again minus sign because this displacement is in the downward direction spring force is acting in the opposite direction so fs and x they are in opposite direction so for that we have this minus sign okay so now what will be the total force total force on the block on the block it will be Total force F is equal to the spring force and the damping force. Okay, so I can write F is equal to minus Kx then minus BV. Okay, so if uh, if I apply laws of motion, Newton's laws of motion, F equal to I can write MA. So this MA of T acceleration at time t is equal to minus k x at time t position x at time t minus b velocity at time t okay now if i write this in differential form i can write it as m d square x by dt square is equal to k x of t or minus kx of t minus b dx by dt okay this is not x into t okay this is x of t 
okay so now this can be written as rearranged and written as m d square x by dt square plus kx plus b dx by dt this is equal to 0 okay or I can reduce it further as d square x by d not reduce actually rearrange d square x by dt square plus k by m into x plus b by m dx by dt is equal to 0. Now remember see for undamped oscillation we had this equation d square x by dt square plus k by m into x is equal to 0 and this k by m it was equal to omega square okay this was for undamped oscillation and this is for damped oscillation so this is the extra term we have got because of damping okay so this is the differential equation this is the differential equation for damped oscillation okay now this is the second degree differential equation okay so solution of this differential equation can be written as x of t is equal to a e power minus bt by twice f into cos omega dash t plus phi. See why I have written omega dash because now this is the new angular frequency due to damping. Okay, And this is the amplitude, this term, this entire term is the amplitude of the resultant oscillation okay and this omega prime is the new angular frequency where omega prime is equal to k by m minus b square by 4m square okay now remember earlier we had omega is equal to square root of k by m so this b square by 4m square this is the extra term because of damping okay for undamped oscillator for undamped oscillator what will be the value of b see for undamped we have omega equal to k by m for damping we have k by m minus this term so this is the extra term because of damping so for undamped oscillation that means b will be equal to 0 b will be equal to 0 okay and what about the energy of oscillator energy of the damped oscillator it is equal to half k a square e power minus bt by m so again we have this extra term for damped undamped oscillator we had energy is equal to half k a square and it was a constant okay but here what we are observing that the energy is de decreasing exponentially okay energy is decreasing exponentially so for the energy if you draw the energy versus time graph the graph will be like this it is exponentially decaying okay and if you draw the position versus time graph position versus time graph for this equation okay so it will be like this the displacement will gradually decreasing okay it is gradually decreasing so this is the graph for x and t this is the graph for energy and time so this is the concept of damped simple harmonic motion or damped oscillation